We are at 55.4 degrees Fahrenheit now, where it started at about 35 degrees. So in half an hour, we've warmed up the pack to the tune of about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And there we've got a very steady 30 kilowatt rate reliably since the start of the charge. Again, not, not ideal compared to the 50, 55 kilowatts you could get, but you know, in cold weather um, charging, you have to accept some uh, limitations, I guess, when the pack is cold. Okay, so we're back in Boston and uh, I have an opportunity to do some cold weather charge testing, fast charge mm -hmm. testing. Uh, we want to compare this, the 2020, to our old and faithful friend, the 2017 Bolt EV. Both premieres, but uh, different uh, fast charging profiles for sure. We've seen that and we'll do more on that in future. But right now we've had uh, a cold snap overnight of around 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, warming up a little bit here because we're in the morning, but um, we've still got a battery temperature of 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the bottom number right here. And uh, that should be cold enough, at least on the 2017. That would have made for a very slow startup rate when fast charging. So we'd have been talking about probably well below 20 kilowatts, maybe down to as low as 12 or 13. Um, that, based on some testing I've done um, on 50 kilowatt chargers, which I'll put up on the screen here and we'll talk about in the video. Um, we uh, we see already that the um, 2020 Bolt EV is definitely uh, a quicker startup rate when you're in cold weather. Um, I don't know exactly what that's down to. Right now I've turned the car on for a few minutes. We've got the battery heater going to work at around 1.8 kilowatts. Um, and that's gonna start to warm the pack up. I've got to get over to an Electrify America site so that we can uh, do this testing on a um, faster, high power charger definitely can get a faster startup rate in this car. I've seen that in the other test, but I want to test it on the high power stations and uh, get running with that. So let's head off. <laughs> stations this is actually a community site which is more of a serving a metro area affair but you can see up there on the this way uh, that's the Encore Casino that's right up uh, Mystic River so we'll get plugged in and see what we can find out Yeah, so for the record, uh, we've gone up from 20s Fahrenheit on the battery temperature here to uh, mid 30s, so 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit in the pack right now. Uh, this battery heater was up to a max of about 1.7 kilowatts, so not as high as the 2.5 that you'll see in the 2017. Uh, air temperature is still hovering around this 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're still below freezing. Again, we did sit overnight. This is a cold soaked pack, um, sat overnight in 20 degrees temperatures. So it's cold. It's uh, definitely not warm enough to take a full charge. We are on station number two. So we find that in the app. Swipe away. 2020 we haven't had to be holding the cable to give it some uh, relief from the weight that seems to be confirmed as an early model 2017 maybe early 2018 problem so that's gone away and there we are firing up and oh my goodness 
even oh okay so got a little bit too ambitious there at the start fired up to 40s maybe realized the pack was a bit colder than expected you can see i was starting at 25 percent here uh, but that's bang on i mean you could see it tried to accelerate up the station is capable of delivering up to the 50 55 kilowatts um, at this state of charge below 50 55 percent um, but this is still far better than we had in the 2017 um, I've done it before on other stations and it would always limit the let's see the train here we're also right on the T heading down into Boston this one's probably heading north up to other areas of Somerville side so this is already faster um, it's still not ideal I mean we want to be seeing you know as we've seen on the many many miles to um, Austin and back it was not unusual in the good uh, higher temperature range to fire up right to um, 50 kilowatts straight away when the pack was at a higher temperature um, but you can also see That the battery heater has gone a bit higher here. It seems to be a bit more aggressive, 1.9 kilowatts. So it is capable of going higher. So we're seeing a higher startup rate by to the tune of about 13 to 15 kilowatts than the 2017 would have managed. And we're also seeing the battery heater definitely going to work to raise that temperature. I think we're driving here 20 minutes and it shot off after maybe 15 so there was no heater battery heater action after about 15 minutes up to 35 degrees um, within about 20 minutes of driving so that was up seven or eight degrees fahrenheit from the start temperature and we'll just monitor it here we should be getting 20 kilowatts more in ideal circumstances so this still isn't perfect um, you're still losing about 20 to 25 kilowatts of power pushing into the car and because it's charging you by minute that is still time and money lost it takes longer to charge and you're paying more for the privilege because of the by minute fee um, but we know this in winter we know this is an issue in winter um, so that you know this is far better than sitting on a charge station for 45 minutes and getting what is basically you know just a bit above level two charging but i'll stick it on time lapse and see if i can incorporate the talk pro readings in here as well minutes in now longer than I really wanted to stay but I want to finish up the video and uh, you know still get some data so you can see it starting to go down from that 30 kilowatt you know constant that I mentioned uh, over the first 30 40 minutes it's starting to taper down now that it's past the halfway point in the battery uh, battery heater is still working but it's you know gradually tamping down 1.1 of a kilowatt every uh, every few minutes now that the pack's up to this uh, 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit, it's very comfortable. The gradual kind of pull down of the charge profile. I'll put some other data up here um, from the the sessions we did on the way down to Texas and back. It's it's a very slow, steady uh, taper down. There's no no stop start. You know, sudden step downs in uh, at the 50 percent mark, and then again at the you know two thirds mark. It's very gradual. So that's definite bonus. You're getting more power. Um, over that uh, taper period than you would in a previous model year. So there you go then, final takeaway from uh, cold weather fast charging uh, in a 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV. Um, it's a faster startup rate, that's where the advantage lies. Um, Chevrolet claimed 150% uh, more miles um, from the 2020 compared to previous uh, 
Model years, fast charging in cold weather. Miles is a kind of moving target because it depends how you drive, uh, what tires you have on, um, how you use the heater, how many miles you'll get from um, the Bolt EV in cold weather. So kilowatt charge rate and kilowatt hours delivered is a more steady um, measure of uh, what you're getting in cold weather charging. We started up with a 30 kilowatt charge rate compared to a 15 kilowatt roughly uh, charge rate on previous model years in uh, you know freezing temperatures or below that's going to give you twice as many kilowatt hours obviously over the course of a 30 minute charge or an hour charge depending on uh, what state of charge you're at so all in all i think a successful test we definitely get better results in uh, cold weather charging fast charging a 2020 than we do a 2017 so thumbs up to the chevy engineers thanks for watching and uh, we'll do more 2020 testing in future videos see you soon